This Saturday, November 11th, we observe Veterans Day. For almost a century, since the signing of the armistice, ending World War I, Americans have marked this day to remember and thank our military veterans. Today, we continue this long tradition, honoring those who have served in all branches of our military, both in peace and in war. This includes all those who have fought in the great wars of our lifetime, World War II, the Cold War, the Vietnam War, and the War on Terror. It also includes those still serving around the world, whether in our local communities or in such volatile locations as Afghanistan and Korea. With me today are some of our veterans with the Southwestern Division. Some are active duty, some having served in all branches of our military, and are now valued civilian employees of the Department of the Army. Many of you might be a veteran. If so, thank you for your sacrifices you made for our nation. The number of Americans serving in the military has declined as our country has gone from the era of the military draft to the all-volunteer force. But all of you probably know a veteran. Veterans form a tie that binds our American society. Most of us have a brother or sister, a father, a cousin, a friend, or colleague who has served in the U.S. military. On this Veterans Day, take some time to attend a parade or visit a national cemetery or a veterans hospital. There is sure to be one in a community near you. Take the time to thank a veteran for his or her service. You might be surprised at the impact of the simple words, thank you for your service. Please join me this year in saluting all our nation's veterans and honoring their sacrifice. Their dedication and sacrifices have made our nation the greatest democracy that it is today. And please ask my Southwestern Division teammates to give me a hua. One, two, three. Hua! Happy Veterans Day.